Hello everybody and welcome to another brand new video on the channel and here we are in sunny Plymouth, the EFL's most southerly away day out of the 92 and now I'm sure most of you that watch the channel know but some of you might not. The irony of that is I live here. Um, I have actually considered it for a while when I say to people about how good Argyle could be for an actual away day. So today I'm just going to take you to a couple of places that I think any away fan of you guys might enjoy going before the game. And, and don't shoot me if it's a terrible recommendation, I'm sorry. Behind me, we've got Smeaton's Tower. I have been up that. What a place. Now, I've been trying to get this video done for... Uh, a while now, I can't lie, it is literally the crack of dawn, I haven't finished doing that longer and I couldn't sleep, so I thought I'd get up, get it done, probably go and have a nap and then go to the game. Uh, I am going to head down as well to Weatherspoons a bit because I do love a spoon's breakfast, I know some people will uh, kick off at me uh, about that, but this is the Plymouth Ho. Now obviously the weather isn't very nice today and on a lovely sunny day, like it's quite it's quite glorious, you can see all the way out to like the breakwater, you see the Brittany ferries going like to and from France over that way, blooming frog eaters. But no, I it's it's typical that I've called it on a bad day because Bolden Bankrupt did a video recently and he was kind of like, I mean, look, he is a very, very great YouTuber. I enjoy watching his stuff, like fantastic, fantastic stuff. But he slated Plymouth. And I thought, you know what, this could kind of give a little bit of a propaganda to what a nice place it is to live. Now, Loads of places have dodgy areas, right? And Plymouth's the same. I mean, the city centre, there's so much construction that going on 24-7. But I promise you, on a sunny day, it is nice up here. We're going to take a walk, probably down sort of waterfront, head down to the Barbican, good place to have a nice drink, get some breakfast, show you where the good chippies are. And, uh, and yeah, I'll bring you back in a sec. Now, Plymouth, a little bit of history, is also a uh, naval city, and we do have the uh, the naval base here. We have got the War Memorial, uh, remembering those that fought for us, 1914 to 1918, 1939 to 1945. It is written on there, but I knew that anyway. Um, so yeah, all the names and stuff. I tried to capture a little bit of it uh, up on the wall, but if you do come, uh, to Plymouth. It is worth checking out. I know as I've said the weather is absolutely grim today but on a sunny day it is very very nice up here I promise you that. And of course it goes without saying we will always remember those that fought and lost their lives for us in the pursuit uh, of freedom in those world wars. I am a big fan of, uh, of Remembrance Day. Oh yeah, also for those asking, I don't have my Crocs on today. I've got me running shoes on, which to be fair, are absolutely battered. But I paid like 30 quid for them, they're Adidas really and they're really good. The weather today, by the way, is absolutely grim. It is freezing. I can't remember the last home game that we've played where A, it hasn't been raining, or you know, B, it's not just like cold and grim. It's literally been ridiculous out here. I've been meaning genuinely to get out and get this done for a while and I thought oh, I'll try and find a nice sunny day. Oh, there's a magpie there. There's only one. Apparently you've got a salute. Look at this. This camera's class. I can swing it around. Off it goes. Means it hasn't got a mate. Poor bugger. You right, bye? Was it they say? One for sorrow, two for joy. Three for a girl, four for a boy. Something like that, isn't it? I think so anyway. Now down there, I don't know if you guys can see us on the camera. It might not be able to let me show you. I'm going to try. I'm playing around with a gimbal a little bit. Down there, you've got Tinside, which at the minute is a mess. And that's the council's fault. Then again, it is at this time of year, I think it's normally out of use. Lovely outdoor swimming pool. I had a few good days there as a youngster uh, playing around. I mean, again, the sea is there. You've got a lovely, lovely Drake's Island over there, owned actually by ex Argyll owner Dan McCauley. I don't know if it still is, but it was. More history with Pi there. And then out this way, it's very lovely. You got like Jenny, Cliff, and all that. Sorry for my abysmal camera work. I actually need to do a vlog of me going for a walk around there, because I tell you what, it's absolutely banging. Like 10, 15 mile coastal walk. It's really, really nice. But no, this is like the Plymouth Ho, shall we call it? Plymouth Ho, as we take a nice walk down to the, uh, nice walk down to the barbecue. And I tell you what, thinking about the game today, actually, I'm a little bit nervy, I can't lie. 
We are absolutely desperate, and I mean desperate for three points. Probably why I couldn't sleep this morning. I'm one of those people, really, when it comes to football, nothing much else is important in life, really. So it's very, very mood affecting. But when I'm done with this, I'm going to need a nap. It's probably because I haven't eaten. I, I do eat during the week, actually. At the minute, I'm trying to fast again. And then on the weekends, I just tend to eat like absolute junk and rubbish. I've already had a dairy milk, fruit and nut. Uh, on the way up here, so I do like that. I was fuming though because I had no marvelous creations, but I've got my bottle of water. Not an ad, by the way. Anyone knows, love a bit of Evian. Everyone always goes to me, actually, water all tastes the same. No, it doesn't. All right, vodka's a clear liquid, and that all doesn't taste the same, so you can have that one. So we're heading down now to the Barbican, which if you are coming here for an away date or just coming here in general, if you're a little bit older, good place to go for a night out. I like going down here and for an away day, honestly, magic. Now, apologies for saying it again. You might have to add a counter to this. I mean, it's down in like the marina. Um, oh, there's another single mad boy. Just the one. Poor bugger. It's probably his missus up there or something. Well, I don't know who the bloke is, but no. Um, when it comes to uh, coming down here, it's decent. The aquarium's only over there. Now, I'm gonna give you a little bit of a history lesson again in a minute. I don't know why this has turned into Pi's history toys, but it has. But on a lovely blue sunny day, a nice pint out in the sun, or not a pint, depending on you know what way your uh, pipes. Tell you what, that's disgraceful by the way. I've just seen that. Two pound fifty for an ice cream. Coming in a flake, two pound fifty. Used to be bloody 99p. Thatch is Britain, that. With, it's saying there, £2.50 with free flake. It's advertising the flake as a, so it's £2.50 for the ice, for an ice cream? Jesus. No wonder we're going in the mud. By the way, I didn't even know we had these, or these tight ones. Look, look at this there. Oh, these fucking bar barrel bikes, yeah. Man, I'll have to get on that. Hey, look at this. This is quite nice, though. I'll show you the view. Coming down into the Barbican, the harbour, a lot of boats. Aquarium over there. If you're down here on a little, you know, family uh, family gathering or something, or maybe you just like fish. I don't know. You know what I mean? Again, what you're into. There's no, uh, there's no uh, avergence on this channel. You like what you like. Um, and of course, I don't mean fishing that way. I mean just looking at fish. I haven't been there for blooming years. I'll tell you that. Oh, good to see the council are picking up the bins. Is that Bournemouth? Sorry. Uh, I've got no idea. Oh no, it says uh, Preston. Oh Hello. no, are you a Preston fan? Yeah. Do you want to come in the vlog? Uh, what vlog? This vlog. This vlog? This vlog. I've just watched your name, sir. Emil. Pleasure to meet you. I'm a Plymouth fan. I'm literally doing a video to talk about an away day in Plymouth. Oh, so it's enough. quite funny well, that I've bumped into you. This is the definite I am average Preston fan right now going for a 7 and a half, 7 a.m. run. Yeah. City Centre. When or, did you come down? Uh, last night. Oh, okay. So, How'd you get down? A drive or train? Or? Yeah, drove yeah. with her husband. Hello, how you doing, Jake. all right? Yeah, and just awful traffic, but I was asleep for most of it, so it was fine. Oh, happy days. Yeah. Any school predictions for today? Uh, I've, you guys, like, isn't it, like, really high scoring? Yeah, it was. Well, well, we, haven't scored, we haven't scored a home in three games, so... Ah, uh, okay. That sounds good. Yeah. Um, well, I don't know. Well, uh, a little bit of uh, scouting information. Our best central midfielder is out for a few months. Okay. So it's going to be a goal, a game where none of the teams have any control over the ball. Yeah. And it's, it'll, I think it'll just be end to end. So I it's going to be 7-7. Seven, 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 that's what seven, we're saying. 7-7. Seven. Yeah. yeah. A pleasure, my friend. Quite funny that actually. I, I did think it was a, uh, a Bournemouth show. But the reason we are down here is we are here at the Mayflower Steps. Another history lesson. If you are watching the channel from America, this is where the Pilgrims left and then went to America and discovered Plymouth Rock. So it's a very cool piece of history. The founding fathers of America literally left Plymouth here, which I think is pretty cool. Tell you what, it's proper nice down here. Hey, just a shout as well. Either of them two chip shops are banging, both on the corner. Hyberside, I've had too much of that on Deliveroo.
I can't lie, it is a little bit weird being down here at quarter past eight in the morning, or quarter to eight in the morning, as opposed to like night time. Over there, you've got the world famous Captain Jasper's. That place is banging. If you want a burger or a uh, hot dog or something, very, very nice. Highly recommend it. Got a lovely bacon roll. Miller and Carter somewhere over there. Don't like there though. Miller and Carter, shambles. I'll tell you that now. And as you can tell, I like my food. I like my steak. No onion rings is a disgrace. And the chips are rubbish. How can you go to a steakhouse and have terrible chips? <sighs> Sorry for that absolute tangent, but this is a place you want to come on a night out. I mean, it's normally pretty lively down here. Uh, you got like Barracuda, The Ship, Rust and Royal. It is decent. You can have a good night out down here. I mean, all I'm saying is, and add it to the counter, sunny, blue day, I don't know, April maybe. I was going to say March because the weather probably sh should be considered to be quite nice. And uh, yeah, come down here for a uh, come down here for a beverage before the match. All I can think of actually is good memories when we got promoted last year. We had a uh, we had a right party down here. It was absolutely class. Now the good thing is is there is a weather spoons down here as well. So you've got a little bit of pricier area and you got the cheap pints and spoons. I am starving because uh, I don't do me fast on the weekend and I haven't eaten for about 13, 14 hours and I've done a stupid stream and I'm very hungry. So I'm gonna go and get a blooming breakfast. Uh, right, so in some horrendously disappointing news, it turns out the weather speed doesn't open till nine o'clock, which I didn't know, and I'm actually, I'm gonna level with you, I'm heartbroken about. Plum of gin behind me, by the way. I don't know if you've ever had a bottle of uh, of the old plum of gin. And I do apologize that my camera action might not be the greatest in the world. It's still got it on like face detect, so if I move it, the thing moves. I'm learning, it's like my third and fourth vlog, so I do apologize about the abysmal cameraman quality here. I was kind of going to do like, maybe get him to film me on certain videos, but people said they liked the vlog style. So, maybe we'll just stick with that. But it's absolutely hammering down, and I'm starving, so I can't lie to you, without there being a Weatherspoons breakfast, I'm probably going to go to McDonald's, get myself a breakfast wrap, head home, watch an episode of CSI New York, and try and actually drop off to sleep. That would be... Wonderful. Coming up here in a minute, I'll show you the best one of the lot. There she is. See, look, the camera, terrible. Favorite food. Incredible place. If you do live in Plymouth and you like a takeaway, the chips are incredible. I actually love a chip. Again, as I know, I'm a portly gentleman. I do love a chip, but it is wonderful. Uh, lovely chipley. Now, the Swan Pub is there. Here, there's like, it's like an abandoned church. It's like a rave. And when I say a rave, I don't mean like, a Kethead rave. Like, I went in there not too long ago. There's about eight people in there. Honestly, there's a bar and a DJ, and some of the beats you were playing was absolutely class. So if you've never been in there on a night out, bloody quality, mate. This is, we are in the sticks here, by the way, of Plymouth. Like, I'm taking all the shortcuts. As you can tell, I'm blowing out my ass as well, which isn't good. Probably shouldn't have McDonald's, really, but got to save room for my pasty. That is a key thing. If you're an away fan and you come to Argo, right? You gotta have a pasty. They are absolutely sensational. But no, I don't know whether I've got a bit of water on my camera lens. I can't tell whether it's just on the screen. I will say, if you do have any video ideas, please let me know like in the comment section. When I say video ideas, I mean, you know, things you wanna see me do kind of like challenge wise, like, or just vlog wise. Thinking about getting on some random trains, buses, like I live by the seaside. Uh, we can go exploring. I'm wanting to go to like France, Netherlands, anywhere I can go on a train. You know, it doesn't have to necessarily be football related either, but obviously today's vlog is. Right, I'm not far from Mackey's now. Give me that breakfast wrap. Good morning, everyone. We are back. Um, yeah, where was the last time I left you? I think I had my breakfast. Sleep has been attempted, sleep hasn't gone well. I've literally had about an hour and a half. Uh, it's currently 25 past two. I literally dropped off about 11.30, so I'd normally walk, but it's hammering it down, and uh, I needed a couple extra hours of sleep. We're trying to get some sleep, so we're gonna hop in a taxi up to the ground. It's honestly one of them days where I could have happily, and literally happily, stayed in bed. Excuse my voice as well, hopefully. This is a decent, 
game of football. Please, Argyle, do me a favour, innit? Right, here we are, made it to Home Park in the background behind me. I'll tell you what, I probably won't get much of the game today because uh, if we're 1 0 down early, I think I might actually be falling asleep. Right, where's my blooming pasty? Right, with pre matches, literally about four minutes to kick off. Walkie, any pre match predictions? My left pre -match, over, by the way. Pre match predictions yeah. is we are getting three points. It's 2 1 our goal. We're staying up. Right, there we go. Thanks, Walkie. I appreciate it, mate. You heard it here first. I like the optimism, mate. I always go, <laughs> I always go gate 17 for Bomber. How you doing, boys? All right? I always go gate 17 yeah, okay. for Bomber. The lucky gate, even though we never win out. <laughs> we scored over three <laughs> games. Gates we got, we? <laughs> yeah, look, I can flip this round as well. A way ins there for the way for the away fans around the corner. Oh, right, Ken said he's guided to be in the park. Yeah, let's get Ken on the block. I'm out tonight. Ken, Ken's in Chile. Yeah, I'm out tonight. The winner today is the Chile. Let's hope Plymouth for the other winner. I was going to get him a bright orange stone Chile. I still might do it. I, I, I wouldn't rule it out because I'd love to get the badge in with the Chile. We love the badge. We love pie. We love Argo. Hey, someone's out of beer. With today being our planned start to start for the Park Hour, we are inviting you all to join us for the national anthem played by the band of His Majesty's Royal Marines. Oh, big fan of that. Long live our King, God save Big fan of the flag. Literally, there is no football because Preston are down for the 80th time. Look at the top Preston fans who won a trophy about 800 years ago. Top club. Get him out. We want Foster out. We want Foster out. Say we want Foster out. We want Foster out. Abysmal, abysmal performance. Abysmal, abysmal performance. Get him gone tonight. Tonight. Post-match, deep car debrief post-match. Foster out. It's the board's fault. I'm not even going to have like a meltdown meltdown. I'm just going to say, shouldn't have hired him. You hired a coach that's not a manager to manage a championship club. What are we saying? Warnock is War the key. Warnock, Warnock to get him for a bit of buy-in. I'll be honest, it's like, I'm coming out. Um, I'm not even angry, I'm just bored. Yeah. I'm, I'm literally just like... We haven't scored at home in you know. four games. Like, genuinely, like, you can tell at the end, I think the, the relationship with the players has gone. And like, we know these are good players. They've they've, they've done it. It's, like, Preston were woeful. If we are under Schumacher, we would have battered them today. Like, literally battered them, so... And so I think we're so, we're so focused on trying not to concede that we've lost any... Any creativity going forward yeah. whatsoever, and it's just it's I think yeah. the, gap, the gap today between our striker and the midfield has got to be a good forty yards, you know. And it's just, just the it's fragmented. It's so it's so disjointed. I'm I'm so angry. I'm just I'm beyond caring now. Really, That's yeah, getting, getting gone needs to go. But I think this will probably end up going out on Sunday. So hopefully, our guy have tweeted the corner flag. I don't think he'll sack. I genuinely don't think the board will do it. They need to. We're else we're screwed. The only advantage we have is that other teams. I like didn't get the major results today. Like Hallis for drum of Rotherham was a really good result for us, but now nah, we are in trouble. Shout out Derby by the way. That Sonny Bradley big win for them today at the top of uh, League One with uh, Pompey. But yeah, anyway, thanks for watching today's vlog. Um, sorry there was no meltdown, meltdown. I mean we've melted down every week. I mean we've got one point <laughs> in nine games. I think I let most of it out at Sheffield Wednesday to be honest with you. So I mean there's nothing more to say really. Sort it out our goal. And hopefully we've got a nice break now. Get him gone. Warnock in. Keep us up. Go again in the summer.
it's that easy. Don't forget, please do like and subscribe. Shout out Walkie, aka Mr. Walk. Walk cabs. For the lift and the, the, the should we say, the edited to the punditry <laughs> to the vlog. Uh, <laughs> What is our next set? We've got no game now for two weeks, but we've got Bristol City after Norwich. We've got Norwich Good Friday and then Bristol City. Oh dear. Right. Take care.